His first level to be released in over a year, Idyllic is an incredibly well executed themed design level that showcases Crit's potential going forward. Idyllic has a magical theme, and a lot of Crit's decoration realises this. Weirdly enough, this is most obvious in the air decoration as opposed to the block designs. Throughout the entirety of this level, Crit uses a wide range of different air details that have some connection to magical or fantasy tropes, including flowers, stars, glyphs, gems, and my personal favourite, these runic circles. Even details that aren't in theme still have a magical aspect to them, like how these arrows move and fade in, these rhythmic glow lasers, and the way these particles rise. While a lot of Crit's block designs aren't the main eye-catcher part of the decoration to me, they are still all wonderfully varied and decently in theme too, like how the designs in the ship part flash into existence, how the sigils in this robot part move within the structure itself. All of the designs however are complemented with incredible colours. Crit's very bright colours and brighter use of glow and pulses further add to the magical atmosphere that help to emphasise all of the designs and details used. One specific thing I would like to mention is Crit's use of pure black structures. Black is a very powerful colour when used correctly, and I believe Crit to have did exceptionally well here. The black structures and details throughout Idyllic make for a nice contrast from the brighter colours and glow, as well as that incredible atmosphere that helps to cement the magical theme. It's a small aspect for sure, but one that adds a significant amount to the level's overall atmosphere. Overall, Idyllic is a really high quality level that executes a relatively unused theme effectively, with a huge variety in block designs and air decoration to witness. It's a huge step up from Crit's last level, Graven Astronaut, and I'm really excited to see how it develops this style further in future projects.